Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, my friends at WattsWire.com sent me several cords here to evaluate and pass on to you to see how good these cords are. Well, stay tuned and I'll do just that. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. When you're gonna use cordage on the job site or in the shop, you wanna have good stuff. And it pays to spend a little bit more and get better quality. Well, WattsWire.com, their products certainly fall into that description. Now, as is customary here at DirtFarmerJay.com, when we accept a product for review, we gain full permission from the supplier to give our authentic and genuine review. And we're gonna give an initial review today here on this because it's all brand new and we don't have time to wear it in and see how it holds up, but we'll come back a year from now and post a second video after these have been used. And I actually have a family member that owns a signage company where they use a lot of this. We're gonna put it out on the job site where it's used day in and day out in some pretty rough conditions just to see how this all holds up. If you'd like to check out the full product line, as you can see several of them here, you can do that at WattsWire, W-A-T-T-S, Wired, W-I-R-E, dot com, all one word, forward slash, DFJ for Dirt Farmer J. And that'll let you know that I sent you to them. All right, let's take a look at these cords. Now there's a couple things I want you to notice right off. And that is Watts Wire's signature cord end, the tap itself. Notice that they split the directions of where you're gonna plug in. This allows you to use bulkier male plug-ins that go into this end here without them colliding with each other. The second characteristic that is common to all of their products is this molded plug where you can see the entire innards of where the wire is. And this is really nice. This, uh, the stress protectors on both of these are well made. The cord is very flexible. It's very nice and beefy. A third thing that's important to know about Watts Wire is they don't sell any 16 or 18 gauge cords. Their philosophy is there is no place on the job site for those light gauge cords. So the lowest they're gonna sell you in the way of gauge is 14 gauge. Next one up is 12 gauge and then the heavy duty 10 gauge. Now something to keep in mind, just because you go with a bigger gauge uh, and the numbers are backwards. Remember when you're talking wire gauges, the larger the number, the smaller the wire. So a 10 gauge is bigger than a 12 gauge, which is bigger than a 14 gauge. But the limiter is 15 amps on all of these, and that has to do with the plug-in. So the plug-in is a style that goes in a standard 15 amp outlet, uh, and there's a plug configuration, a 515R, that's a NEMA plug, National Electrical Manufacturers Association designation. So that is your limiter. But something else you need to keep in mind, remember, you've got three taps right here, and the combined amount of power being drawn here cannot exceed 15 amps. So if you've got a really power hungry device like a large space heater, you don't want to plug that in and all of a sudden put a uh, job site construction um, table saw and then over here you've got something else, a router table or a chop saw. Chances are you're going to exceed uh, the power requirements and really heat up the outlets and um, the connectors and all that sort of thing. So just be aware of that. Just because you have a bigger cord doesn't give you more power. Here's what it does do though. It protects against line drop and that's the accumulated uh, resistance of power being delivered over a longer distance. So in one of these large cords, this cord right here is a 10 gauge 50 foot cord. This dude is heavy and it is beefy, but it won't deliver more power, but it will protect against the other end of the cord having less power being delivered due to resistance in the cord. So this is why you would invest in a heavier cord like this to plug in and use. You'll see that this is a 12.3 SJE 
OW jacket that's on this extension cord. Now in the description below, there is an extensive um, amount of information about what each of the letters mean. You can look that up. That was provided to us by Watts Wire and is a, a national code that's used across all the manufacturers of this type of cordage. However, when you see an O in that designation, it means it's oil resistant, which means it is a rubbery coating and you can literally see the difference between those two right here. One is very shiny, one is dull. This is slightly stiffer. It's coated to really resist abrasion, scuffs, cuts, and that sort of thing. This is very tough as well, but it's very rubbery and ultra flexible. For those of you that work in cold temperatures and you need cordage out there, this is the kind of cord you want. It'll stay very flexible. It coils back up afterwards. It's a great product. Another great feature of Watts Wire products is the various colors they're available in. So if you have a favorite color or one that you like to use that you know isn't common on the job site, it sure makes it a lot easier to identify your cordage at the end of the day when it's time to wrap up. So like I said, check out wattswire.com. We don't get a commission from any of this. We just like to find great products that we think are gonna serve you well. And as promised, about a year from now, we'll come back and show you how all these fared. But our initial impressions, just with the fit, finish, moldings, the way you can see the conductors and everything, we are very favorably impressed. We think you'll be pleased with it. Check it out at wattswire.com forward slash DFJ. Well, if you found this to be helpful, you'll also enjoy this video where we show you the electrical testers that every homeowner should never be without. They're inexpensive, effective, and they keep you safe. Or check out this other video that we produce that YouTube thinks is perfect for you. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from dirtfarmerjay.com.